Hello everyone and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and we are playing as the Tukalor Empire. Right now, we are at war with Egypt because Egypt is still at war with the Ottoman Empire. Right now, let's take a look at the wars. We are over here. We want Dongola, in which we'll take a look at where that is. We've got a couple comms to go through and we've got a lot more brigades or divisions than them, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, yeah, well, we should do okay. So, I've already came over here and we're trying to siege down this area. Dongola is up here though, unfortunately. Going to war with Egypt isn't going to be great, just because even though they have the Baodin culture, a lot of the provinces don't have a lot of people, so that kind of sucks, and they do have other cultures such as Misri, and I would really, really like Eretria, or Egyptian Eretria, because they have precious metals, but I decided to get Dongola over here, where my mouse is, just because we can get all the way up to here, and then maybe cut off any Europeans from, like, northern or central northern Africa, maybe? It's really hard to decide where you want to take out, you know, e Egyptian stuff. But we have one navy coming over. Oh, we have one navy there. We have another navy. I should be coming over. Yep, there they are. Coming on over. So, let's keep going. And someone recommends... Ooh, Honduras goes bankrupt. If you want to read about this, this happens quite often. They've gone bankrupt and defaulted on their debts. We must use their military might if we want to save our investors. Oh, yeah, that is fear, but... Honduras... Actually, they're independent. I'm not, I don't really have any real interest in taking them out. If I'm going to take them out, we're going to just straight up annex them or take their stuff, so... Uh, oh, I don't want to lose prestige, though, so... Influence, that's fine. I don't really care. I really, really don't care, to be honest with you. I just want to get my stuff here before Egypt, like, gets reconquered by the Ottomans, so... so we're going to move quickly, and we have another national focus. Thank goodness. Let's go and grab the state and government so that we can get to mission to civilize. So I recommend we play as Wallachia, or play as Moldova, and then form Wallachia, or maybe get to Wallachia, either one of those two, and form Romania. Actually, I was thinking about that the other day. It sounds kind of like fun. Sounds kind of like fun. It sounds fun to actually do that, so I definitely have them on the list, just like the Ottomans, just like probably Argentina as well, and China, so we'll see what happens. Actually, let's take a look here. What I want to improve the administrative map mode of our country, because it's not looking great, especially up here. Morocco. Oh my goodness. So not good. You guys are doing great as well. Uh, how about over here? It's not looking great. 11%. 10%. Yeah, it's not looking good up there. 27% actually is not too bad. I wonder if we could do that. Of course, we still could use more intellectuals and stuff like that, but we'll see what happens with these guys. It probably won't do too much, but we'll see what happens. A dis discriminatory school system? The schools in Doria are heavily, heavily geared towards supporting the fall small Fulba minority there. And as a result, our mostly citizens feel oppressed. While allowing some temporary leniency in these policies it could be beneficial to our technological progress, it could also be a seed of mostly revolution and an end to our rule here. Keep them ignorant? No, 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 no. We want those research points. We want as much research points as possible. Very, very good. And when is the Navy going to show up? Come on, guys, get over there. Actually, I'm probably going to go all the way up here then. Ooh, rationalism, more plurality? Cool. Very good. Almost 15% of our population can read. Now, that is nice, even though we're losing quite a bit of money, but that's okay. Come to... Ooh. 822. 5512. Come to Marsa Alam. Because we want to get to... We don't, ooh, we don't get to get Aswan, which would be kind of nice, but whatever. Oh, I hate attrition so much. Plurality, cool. Individualism. Less oppression, efficiency. And we get more pop growth. Italy. I'm sorry, Italy. It's cool now, but you're independent. Actually, we can we can build factories in Italy. That's a bit incredible, but whatever. We're still allied with the Germans, UK. Let's continue increasing relations. You never know if they might want to kill us someday. We got two percent towards the Egyptians. Hey, there you go. Nice, very good. Uh, let's see. Supplies better over here. So let's come over there first. And we're still losing a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars a day, or pounds, I should really say. But whatever. Determinism, cool. More plurality. It's gonna probably make revolt risk increase. Hey. There we go. Nice. It's going to be really ugly. But I apologize for this. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. I'm going to leave you guys probably here. Halab. Yeah, because that... Actually, that's... This is better supply around here. So. Oh, 35,000. This is 6,000. Technically, this is probably... It's more people. Montaigne. Mm. This has... I think we'll do this, just because it has a bigger supply limit, or better supply limit, so we'll do that right there. That'd be good. Coming down there, you guys kind of hang out. You will be squadron, or this squadron, that shall stay in this part of Africa. Nice. 
And since we're here already, let's go ahead and lower the budget because we probably need to. I'm glad we were able to steal that from the Egyptians before too much before uh, they had to paste out with these guys. Excellent. Now, hopefully, the <laughs> Ottomans don't want to come over here. <laughs> this is so ugly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh, they're on the boats. Good. Let's come back to. Probably come back to here just because it's probably not looking too great around here. And I'm going to actually put you guys. That's good. That's good. Come back to Rosso. Uh, other comments include. We should get Rhodes. Yes, I believe we should get Rhodes as well. That would be actually very, very good. How strong is Spain? 99. That's a pretty good score. Brazil is 16, but they're allied with Republican Spain. Looks like Republican Spain. Uh, yeah, conservatives, Republicans, whatever it is. And annex as much of Africa as possible. We could try. Oh, man. Why does everyone have to be in the American sphere? That's so sad. That's why we got Bolivia earlier on. I do want to spend a lot of time, though, with us just trying to, like, get more education for everyone. Really try to improve ourselves internally. I think that's a good goal to get. And we have until 77. So the next year for that. Mm, we can still grab Haiti, maybe. They're in a sphere. Doesn't look like anyone really wants to take these guys out. Haiti. I mean, that's so much. It's only 167 days. I like land. And of course, safe coming will occur if we do get found out. So, social conscience. More plurality is nice. Share prestige. Cool. And we have an army over here, too. Their military score is 7, which so actually isn't too bad, but we'll see what happens. Over here... Oh, bottle and glass. Close. Actually, what do we have around here? I forget. We, we've got coal. we got precious metals. I do want to take out Panama for ourselves, so that'll be good to do eventually. Uh, we have no... Actually, Afro-Latino. Uh, Fulba. That's cool. Uh, sure, Ottoman Empire. Sure, you can have access to that. Even though we probably do want to take out people over here too, so. Nice. Look at that money. If that's the case for the money. Uh oh. Are we losing Portugal, maybe? Yes. Oh, we have. Oh, there's rebels in Portugal. Uh, I think they have it. In that's the case. I'm going to actually lower tariffs some more. Just so that we can get maybe people buying more stuff. Ooh, that might, be, that might have been too much. Hey, look at that. Let's go up to 30. Okay, 32. Okay, 33. I lied. Let's go over here. So, we can keep doing slavery, and I'll get it done eventually. Only only 0.06% of the population actually wants to remove slavery. But completely outlaw it. Voting? 0.2%. Who wants to do... Hmm. Well, yeah. Let's get some more social reform desire. That's fine with me. Yeah, I don't know too worried about that at all. Cool. And... Bodies. Cool. Yeah, you guys aren't looking too good. Let's see. Actually, how many soldiers are actually on here? Wow, not many. If that's the case, hmm, one and five. We're gonna need one cavalry for that. There you go. And they'll all come down here, hopefully. Cool. And actually, we'll send these boats over to Colombia. That'd be good. Come over there. There you go. Very good. Give them another month so they can get a little bit more strength, and then we'll ship them on over. A 14.7, not bad. Point change by 0.369 during the next month. Cool. Alright, so you guys get on the boat. There's a lot of rebels in that group, actually. That's not good. Oh, I'll come over here. And... We'll build one more of these guys. There you go. Man of War. Good, good, good. Actually, how's this... Mission Haiti. Cool. If you want to read about this, go right ahead. It's not too important, though. 70% of the way done. Two months left. Hopefully we don't get found out. Hey! More population growth. Don't mind if we do. Less army attrition, which is nice. And better military hospitals. Yes, please. Actually. Oh. Uh, 4.7. Uh, uh, fine. I'll take it. That's actually not too bad. Fine. So be it. Unless these have been sphered. We just gotta move quickly. We just gotta move quickly to take them out. That's all we gotta do. Go and spend more. Go and raise up the taxes. There you go. Wow. Okay, now we gotta raise up tariffs a little bit more. Sorry, guys. But it's a necessary evil. Nice. I was, I was also considering taking out Greece. Because they're independent. It, uh, maybe? Maybe? Actually, well, let's get this one done first. I don't I don't want to protect the Greeks. I mean, there's no point for us to protect Greeks right now. I mean, maybe we'll play as a Greek sometime. Actually, I was thinking about playing as a Greek sometime. 
Because they seem like a really fun group to play as. Mahadists? Mahadists and Abara? Atbara? Followers of the Mahdi have struck again, this time in the province of Atbara. The religious leaders jihad against foreigners has sparked a local rebellion, one that the authorities have, have had a difficult time putting down. Oh boy. Well, just in case, if you need to do that, go right ahead. We could build some land forts, but we'll see what happens. You guys... Gonna worry. There we go. All right, let's get back on the boat. And we almost have state and government too. Awesome. And we'll probably la land in Cape Haitian. Actually, no, we'll probably just attack them directly. I mean, there's not that many soldiers, so. We just gotta move quickly enough. Please don't interfere. Please, for the love of God, don't interfere. Where'd they go? Oh, hello. They disappeared out of nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we landed, but they disappeared. They probably went on the boats or something. And then they come out after we landed, and they're trying to... The terrain, the crossing, and the... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, they must be, like, making more soldiers or something now or something. Or mobilizing. They must be mobilizing. Okay, you know what? Haiti, you do you, and we'll do us. And then we'll have state and government. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, look at that. Abolish the Pact of Umar. Nationalism and Imperialism. Ooh, separatism, war exhaustion, manifest destiny, biased multiculturalism. Now, we don't have to get that one yet, at least for what it looks like. We have to be at 1880, because what do we have here? Percentage, atheism, collectivism, social justice, breach-loaded armaments. I think we need that one. If that war, any country at war with that, that already has that. Machine guns would be nice. We could do some more stuff there, but let's get some more education efficiency. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Oh, plus 30% Darwinism? Yes, please. And, ooh, another national... Okay, start. Do we? Yes, please. Alright, so, you guys... It's taking so long to get more ed intellectuals here. So much longer. You guys are trying to get more bureaucrats up here, right? Eh, it's actually going up a little bit, which is kind of nice. You guys know, you guys have 100% bureaucrats. I can't even remember now where do we put our guys. So you guys are getting more bureaucrats. You guys are trying to get more intellectuals. You all are up there, too. Population-wise, population density... I want to get more capitalists. But wherever we have pop large populations, they all have really not great places. Or they're not our core states. Like down here, not a core state. They're still a colony. What is this? Core integration. Ah, what the hell me? Is that for everyone here? That might not be bad to do there. Well, that's 85%. Let's go and do that one, too. That's, that'll be probably pretty quick to do. And what if we do? Abolish the back of Umar. What does that do? Gain five? Oh, my goodness. The Pact of Umar is a 7th century treaty between the Muslims and Christians of Syria, Mesopotamia, or Jerusalem that later gained a canonical status in Islamic ju jurisprudence. In general, the pact contains a list of rights and restrictions on non-Muslim dhimis. By, by abiding them, no non-Muslims are granted the security of their persons, their families, and their possessions. Under the pact today, all dhimis have their religious and status protected. They are free to practice and need not to convert, and in return they pay a tax to Jiza. Abolishing the pact means relinquishing the tax will enable efforts to convert the non-Muslims. It's a path without return, which will greatly anger other countries as well as our own demi population. We can't do that right now, so... I'm going to go ahead and say no for now, since we can't afford the infamy. We can send the Geneva Convention. Why would we do that? We lose one infamy, but we get more infamy every month. Is it worth signing the Geneva Convention? I mean, yeah, the one infamy is not bad. Secularized society. We need secularization. Do not have theocracy. Oh. We lose prestige. Huh. We get less consciousness, but more consciousness. Eh. Explore the Congo. Ooh, what is that? Oh, we need mission to sit for the lies. We need a lot of different places. Commission warship, African farms and mines, investment banks. Abolish just sound dues. Oh, we need the Kiel Canal. Sierra Frontier. Murzuk. Where's Murzuk? We need that one. Oh, crap. Well, maybe not that one, then. We'll see what happens. We got it? No, we don't. And head on up there. Goodbye, shippies. Goodbye. Let's go just do that, too. Social reform desire has gone up with... Bureaucracy versus nepotism. 
Nice. 15%. Now it's going to go down probably when we get these guys. Haiti defaults. If you want to read about this, go right ahead, but... Um, we're already at war with you guys, so... Relations and influence goes down. Ooh, I don't want to gain any more infamy, so... Hey, happy 1877, everyone. That means we go back to war with Colombia. There you go. Nice. We're peace. We're probably not going to extend slavery. Let's be real here. Let's not extend slavery for now. Let's go and lower the spending. Thank you very much. And yeah, go all the way. Go all the way because you can. Lower taxes. Actually, keep the taxes relatively high because I want to lower tariffs quite a bit more, actually. And send so you guys over here. Now there's rebels. That wouldn't be very good. That's what we're going to build up ports immediately. Ooh. Close. Well, let's see what happens. Nice. And get back on the boat, because we had to go to war with Colombia soon enough. There we go. Come on home, guys. Come on home. Alright. Hey, you can go to war. We got to acquire a state. Oh, we kept making a puppet, but whatever. They have six military score. We probably will be okay by ourselves. Brazil wants an alliance. Well, I don't know about that, Brazil. Uh, I think we're okay for now. Well, I guess... I'll see you guys in just a little bit once this has gone over. Alright everyone, here we are, and we've already begun invading Colombia. But right now, I've called in the German Empire, just because, off screen, I realized that Colombia, well, some people might get involved, including the French, so. The Germans are helping us out, and that should do okay. If the French do go to war with us, so be it. Right now we are doing that. They've got a little bit of rebels over there. And Bogota will be ours. Right now, we actually have a little bit of infamy 22.85 because we are trying to integrate Guinea. Guinea. And, uh, well, that costs you two infamy, so we gotta be really careful about that. We gotta really, really be careful. Actually, I can't propose peace. Oh, Germany. Oh, Germany. Please give me just what I want. Please don't show up and actually do stuff over here unless someone else gets involved, which wouldn't be very good. <clears throat> so. Oh, come on, come on. Ooh. We don't have that yet. That's fine. Okay, oh, I guess they're no longer regular Spain, they're Carlos. Reactionary Spain. We're kind of okay with that right now, guys. We're kind of okay. Moments of biologism. Very good. Also, I think off screen. Let's see, let's come to technology. We did discover... Actually, where is it? We There's a list of technologies that you have researched already. We got Mission to Civilize. Let's see. Well, actually, I'll just show you doing this. So we have ooh, mission to civilize state and government, so that's good enough. So that's good. That's actually really, really, really good. All right, keep going down there. That'd be fine. Germany showing up. Come on, France. Oh, look at that. Great. And culture. Ooh, social science. That's a lot more education efficiency. We need nationalism and imperialism, though. I think. Uh, what was? Actually, we need revolution and counter-revolution. So, yeah, we need to get to the dark continent. So we got to do this one next. That's we're forced to do that next. So that's fine with me. But let's see what happens. Oh, we got that too. I really don't want to attack into the hills. We're attacking into the mountains. So we'll see what happens. We're one there. Take the actual canal area. Hey! Darwinism! Plus 30% educational efficiency. Don't mind if we do. That'd be very, very nice. They take that, whatever. Come on. Journey, if you can peace out with them, please peace out. Come on, France. I tried to do this once, and then French, France actually joined the war against me. But now, with calling in the Germans, the French don't want to fight? What's wrong with them? Mara Sabotage, some of our industrial facilities in Rosso have been damaged, and factory officials suspect that Mara's saboteurs are behind the attack. We have no conclusive proof at the moment, but a thorough investigation might give us new insights, though it'll cost us. Brown usual suspects. Let's get more plurality. And they got that province, so be it. Let's come down there. How did I get an ironclad? Well, I didn't. I didn't make this. That costs a lot of money every day. Holy crap! What did it? What? I didn't. I did not make that. I promise you, I did not make that. What the heck? Let's see. We have one, two, three. The fourth army here is okay. We already have oh, a couple armies over here too already. But I, I did not make an ironclad. I can't afford ironclads. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Why not? Why not? Zanzibar, how are you doing, Zanzibar? You can still build another army. Actually, if that's the case, let's go and take this off first, then. And we'll just build one up here for you guys. Actually, what do you need? Uh, well, you could really use another engineer, probably. There you go. Have at thee. 
forts? Eh, not really worth building forts there. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, I'll, I'll keep the ironclad. Yeah, I'll definitely keep it, but that's very unusual. I'm going to come up here. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very much. We shall not extend slavery anymore. Thank you very much. And now that is a nice Tukul or Columbia. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, I love it. Actually, do we get the decision? Abolish the pact. Secularize. Explore the Congo. I want to create... Actually, I'll leave you guys here. But, uh... The Panama Canal. That costs so much money to do. Holy cow. Who is that? Is that Oman or something? Alsa. Mm. Oh. I think we're okay. Yeah, we should probably start cleaning this up a little bit more. Oh, and are you guys... Yeah, they're back to being under the Ottoman rule. So be it. Whatever. Any, in any case... We still have an army down here. Yeah, they're doing pretty well down here. Well, in the meantime, you guys come back over here. We got that, we got that. We got you guys over here too. And I made another army just in case if these guys get a little uppity. It's fine. I'm going to put you guys over here then. And you guys can go right there. And do that. In the meantime, so we have 15. Really, we're going to have that much. So we need one more infantry, which is actually right here. And we'll make five more artillery once this one is done. And we got to spend some... I think it's just... Maybe best to spend some time just kind of hanging out, integrating our areas a little bit more. Because we, if we get more colonial places, places, that's okay. But I really want to ed increase education efficiency, lower some more infamy. I think that'd be really good to do for us. Yeah, we're probably going to be pretty late to the colonizing part of the game, but we'll see what happens. I would like to. Oh, actually, Zanzibar's got. Kind of oh, that's Gully. Not that's not Zanzibar. Let's take a look, actually. Population-wise, Shiba is pretty good. RGO-wise, there's really nothing here of note. Yeah, not really anything. Of course, we got to keep increasing our prestige amount, but still. Ooh, National Prism. Nice, not bad. 0 0.05 is pretty good. More plurality is pretty good, too. Hmm. France. You kind of like it. They're actually allied with quite a few people. Germany's allied with only with us, which is not good. Austria-Hungary is not allied with anyone. No one wants to ally with each other in this camp, this world right now. Actually, let's keep doing this too. Persia, hello. Thank you. Very, very good. 11 factory score. Whoops, my bad. And take a look at these guys. So, 30 point, 30% is not bad. You guys are getting a little better as well. How are intellectuals doing over here? 1.6%, and you guys are actually doing pretty darn well with that. That's actually really good. Come on, Bink. My cat here is Binky. Social Darwinism. Actually, do we have any war exhaustion? No, we don't. That's good. I mean, we're looking pretty good overall. Not too bad. Still something in the role for prestige. Let's go and merge these guys together. My apologies about that. Let's go ahead and turn on this. Well, that ironclad, not, not easy to ma uh, maintain. Fifteen point eight percent of the population can read. Keep working on that. That'd be good, 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 good. good. Actually, we're gonna go back to war with these guys because the Spain does not want Agadir. We might as well choose until eighteen eighty. So we got another year. Acquisition of French Vietnam. That's why I'm not good for Vietnam. Tensions dissipated. I like to read about that. Go right ahead. But less militancy is a good thing. I see Portugal. Oh, Persia has. Rebels? Oh, they'll, they'll, they can do with that. I'm not too worried about that at all. Alright, you guys. Come on back over. Let's get one. There we go. That's very nice. 15.9. Yeah, I definitely want to save my colonial points at this point. I'm going to go to war later with these guys. Maybe if they're not speared, if they're not puppeted or anything like that. But we'll see what happens. The Andean War in the Pacific. The Andean nations are in a state of war due to territorial dispute. As an influential power in the region, we can choose to intervene or remain neutral in the dispute. We shall not interfere. Wait, what? We picked it. We already picked it. What the? What the heck? Banner Alliance. 
Influence with Chile and... What is... Oh. We already picked a side. Wait. Are you guys going to go to war with someone? I don't want to get involved, but if I have to, I, I will. Um, can they beat our ironclads? Probably not. If they, if they attack my puppet. I mean, we will go to war with them. Spear of Influence... Eh, we might be able to take out Peru, actually. Hmm. Oh, they probably want that part of Chile, but Chile's not looking good. You know what? If they're at war with all those guys, we might just go to war with them, too. I might just puppet them as well. Hmm. Probably should. Alright, so we got... Four. We need one more infantry as well. Actually, get a guard unit. Faluba. Very strong. Alright, so what's costing us the most here? Because we already have maxed out of taxes. Education is pretty expensive. I mean, the military will cost more, but still. We could probably use some tax and administrative efficiency. Uh, sure. Oh, who's the UK fighting right now? Let's see. Oh, Zoot. Okay, Senegal. Oh, crud. Yes, yes, we have to do this. That's why I can't... We have to save some because that's... That's really high now. That's really, really high. And being a piece of stuff... Oh, Cuba's here. Hmm. Hmm. Do we want to get Cuba? Before anything bad happens, acquire all courts from Peru. Demand repayments. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to take so much saves coming to do this. I want Cuba. I think that'd be cool if we get Cuba. It's June 1st, but we'll see what happens. I have to perfectly save scum for this one. That's going to suck. Hey, we'll get some reforms before we do too much else, though. <sighs> what do the people want? What are the important issues? Low minimum wage. Okay. Slavery allowed. Wait, do they want slavery allowed? We more conservatives and less liberal. Freedom of the womb. At this point, I think we're going to go ahead and do outlawed. Now, no more slaves here. And we can tax a whole lot more people. The end of slavery in the empire. It only took until 1879. That's totally okay with me. But whatever, you know. A, and doing this, that's not bad. Let's go and grab these ships, too. Ah, very nice. Come on back over here. We're spending a lot more time in the New World compared to where I was planning on doing just Africa. And you guys recommend we do Africa, but I'll see you in just a little bit once we get this infamy done. Alright everyone, and welcome back right now. We are poised to go to war with Cuba. We have our justification done. Let's open it up. Oh, look at that. Brazil's fighting down there. But as you see on screen, Germany has declared war on France. And they want to call me into the war. This might be good. This might be very bad. Let's take a look at this real quick. Germany, who wants all six reign, is going to fight the, the evils of Cambodia. <clears throat> so I'm not too worried about that. There's Belgium. They have 21 score, and then the French have 294. So 294 plus 21. That's a good number. But 390, and they're number one in the world with us. Uh, I, mm, I don't really want to get involved, but since Russia's not in the war... Germany should be able to stomp on France and Belgium, so we'll see what happens. Even though I still want to go to war with these guys over here, too, so... And also, I... I... Forgot to bring my navy over. <laughs> so, it's still in the water. Where is it? It's over here, so... We gotta wait just a little bit longer, and then we'll go to war with Cuba. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this quickly. They don't, they don't have that much military score, but... Oh, look at that! Reform! So, hey! A social reform! Ooh, education would be so good to do. Assimilation rate goes down. Actually, we're starting to assimilate some people, too, so... Education efficiency, child labor, uh, minus three percent education efficiency. You get plus two percent, so really you get a plus five percent education efficiency. Restricted rights, it's not bad. Uh, our people are quite socialist. Twenty-five percent, thirty-five percent liberal, thirty-three percent conservative. Capital punishment. Uh, let's let's keep capital punishment. I think that's that's pretty good. Rehabilitation's not bad though. More simulation. Healthcare would be so good to get though. I know healthcare would be so good to get, but I think it's just probably better for us right now. To get a better education system. Yeah. I want more education. We get a little bit more assimilation. I think that would be very, very good for us. Let's go and go to war. Put you, oh, you guys aren't really ready to go yet. Put you guys over here. Just come on down to wherever this is. Panama City. Hey, fully funded education. Nice. And also, doing the fade and fade out actually gives me some time to actually to see... 
what is happening with like comments and stuff. So there's other comments like research naval bases. Uh, we will. Mahadis and Suakian. Oh, that sucks. I don't really care though. We did finish nationalism and imperialism. So we're doing revolutionary and counter-revolution. And then we're going to go immediately for bigger naval bases. Which probably means we can build bigger ships and so get more colonial points. So that would be very, very important. So far, it looks like Germany's doing a pretty good job. Let's see. 520, of course, if we really get involved. But I think Germany should have this under control. So, oh my gosh. Overall, it looks like Germany's doing pretty, pretty good job. I mean, 1, 1v1. The Germans and the French, well, it's really 1v2, but I'm not really counting the Belgians in there too much. If you guys can dismantle them, that'd be great. But let's go and do this so nobody gets involved, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm just going to land right on Havana. Havana. Cool. We get more morale. We got Manifest Destiny. Very good. And consciousness and non colonial goes up, which is. Eh, whatever. Actually, we got a lot more. Oh, hold on. Belgium already pieced out. Wow. And that just makes it that France is going to lose. France is absolutely going to lose in this war. Can I actually increase relations with you? No? Oh, that sucks. It's very weird. Hey. That's what we like to see. Quickly put them down. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, they have more soldiers coming up. Nice. Very nice. Hopefully America does not come knocking for Cuba. That would not be very good. But you know what? Can I make a uh, Tucalor Guantanamo Bay? I think that'd, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty darn cool. In the meantime... Let's see, I can build in, I think I've already said this, but build in like our puppets so we can get more score and they can get stuff, more stuff. Police well, that disturbed things have gone from bad to worse and where the colonial police, while in pursuit of two local suspects of murdering a colonial official, have happened to disturb a shrine of some importance to local re religiosity. Natives in the air are inferior or the pursuit of lack of respect for the religion. Eh, well, whatever. I guess we're not going to reward the Congo then. But we'll wait first. That doesn't make things look a little nicer. Ooh, there goes the money. Oh, hold on. They already pieced out. Alright then. Good job, Germany. I'm glad I... Well, we were allied with you. Why do you not want to ally? Current wars. Oh. Well, that's why... Oh. Are they never... A colonial negotiation is nice. It is 1880. Oh. Oh, we won't be able to get too much. Oh, please don't tell me they started colonizing. Can I colonize yet? Oh, I can't yet. Oh, we need the Dark Continent. We gotta get this one done fast. Oh, scramble for Africa. The Great Powers organized a conference in the French capital to establish several protocols and rules for the occupation of Africa and the abolition of slavery in the Dark Continent. We have clans on African regions, and if we don't act on them, it's based on the principle of effective occupation. The same Great Powers might try to occupy our rightful lands, and act we shall. Oh, God, no. We're too late. Ah. No! Wait, they just got that for free. Oh, man. That sucks. I hate getting this late. Ugh. I'm gonna do the best. Obviously, we'll end up into some great wars later on, so that'll be good for us. But there's nothing we can do. We don't have revolution and counter-revolution, revolution and counter-revolution counter to put down to, like get better life ratings. But that sucks. That really sucks. Expansionism, cool. Less plurality, but less war exhaustion, which is nice. And then we have plurality. Meritocracy versus aristocracy. Very good, get over there. And they get down to Guantanamo Bay. Ah, that's where we're going to put all our prisoners. And we're losing money, which is not good, obviously. And then once these guys are done, I'm going to put you guys down into Colombia. And... Boom. There you go. Oh, we got him too. Nice. Very nice. There we go. I love it. And they are not considered a colony, which is good. For you guys, just put you in Havana. Doesn't really matter. We'll go one, two, one, two. I'm going to err on the side of getting more infantry, but that's pretty much all we can do for now, which is fine. Whatever. Is Cuba for sale? Parties in North America have proposed question selling our Cuba? No. Um, oh, ooh. We get money. We can use a lot of money. I'm going to say no. If they go to war with us... Oh, hello. America's got some rebels. They got socialists in. Alabama. Huh. And socialists in Kentucky. 
Please, America, please don't fight me. Please don't come. I'll sell Cuba again if you want, but... Actually, it might be good. They're only fifth in the world. What's wrong with America? Oh, they want Asa there, huh? Well, let's get... Some, let's look at this. You guys, would you like an alliance? No, Germany, would you like an alliance? Welcome back, Germany. There we go. And let's stop spending all this money. Let's see. Things cost a lot of money. She's doing slightly better. Let's tax people less, maybe. So you guys have made it. And let's come over here and do this, too. Yeah, we are not doing well on the money train right now. A mountain of coal. Ooh, nice. Great. I'm going to actually put you guys, I think... Uh, I'd like to keep expand expanding, but I don't think we can really do so. Ah, well, never mind. We have Morocco there. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. That's so stupid. Ah. That just means we got to take out other people later on in the world. Because mm. right now, the biggest thing that we spend money on is education. And administration as well, but... National stockpile purchases does hurt us, too. Steel? Well, we can lower that by half. Actually, yeah, that's costing us the most right now. Holy cow. And so are the Navy as well. Wave of colonial unrest will remain calm. Situation will pass. Concessions? I'm not giving them concessions. There we go. Yeah, at this point, we just gotta... We could save some some more, but... Hmm. Oh, hello. Wow, look at that. Then again, I mean, it's only 1880. The Great Powers could have a lot of rebels eventually, and then ruin, like, their military and society, so... No matter what happens, we'll find a way to do well, hopefully. Probably. But hopefully. Let's take a look at this, too. Good. How's this looking? Intellectuals are done. Great! How about over here? Kano is good on that. Biafra. Yoruba, Eastern Mali, we just did. Hauseland, looking good. Outer Hauseland, looking good. The homie. You guys could use some intellectuals. Alright, so you guys, you're getting done. You're doing a little better. Not bad. Keep making some more money, though. And since we have coal down there, can we build anything? We need to really do more stuff with factories. We just need more research. Ah. We gotta colonize this a little bit. At least early on, they can't colonize too much. Oh god, Africa. Portugal, why? Uh, just because there's only so many colonial points they have, probably. <sighs> sucks. Carlos Spain fears our might, huh? This is looking good. I like this. Natives are restless. Uh, a situation has presented itself in one of our colonies where several prominent Segu capitalists have, have controlling interests in local trade. One of their ventures, a small local machine shop run by Tukalor specialists, works on Western industrial standards well into the hours of small hours of the morning. The sound from the machine shop is preventing anyone and everyone in the immediate vicinity of the shop from getting much sleep at night, and this has become a symbol for many broader pent-up frustrations with their colonial rule. Cool. I'll take more machine parts. Why not? We're making a little bit of money. We're actually six in the world for great power. Uh, I think it's it's a good time for us to take out Morocco then. Partially westernized, make concession. All right, and we can do another reform. Look at that, love it. Acceptable school systems. We need more education. We just need more education. I guess I would like a bigger population, but ed just getting more research points is super super important right now. Actually, what are the people's ideologies? Or they want minimum wage, so that's what's driving all this. And if they don't get that, they will rebel. But more education. Better assimilation rate? I mean, I'm not really worried about the assimilation rate. It's not that much better for education efficiency, but any little bet we can grab, I want, 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 want. Good. And actually, if we go to war with these guys, I'm not going to raise up the military score too much. We should do okay without too, raising it too high, so. Come on up over here. Atheism? Okay, well, whatever. Hey, even better education. Nice. Ooh, can we do anything else here? Ooh, they're actually doing really well there. Fill up employment there, I guess. Anything else? Glass? A lot of our stuff is not very profitable, I'll be honest. I got 1% capitalist in Uruguay. That actually might be worth doing then. Nice. And I know they're still subsidized, but still. How far are we? Oh, we're actually not doing too bad. Come on. 
They only hundred three. Is anyone interested in spearing them? The Ottoman Empire is. Oh, oh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll eat the cost. That's fine. I'll eat the cost for now. The Valley of the Kings. Ooh. So, the Valley of the Kings, Egypt, is a potentially endless source of new archaeological discoveries. By petitioning the government for a monopoly to carry out excavations in the Valley of Kings, we can ensure that we make these fantastic discoveries rather than other great powers. Oh, crap. More infamy? No, no. I gotta do that, though. Because this helps us get some more prestige. The government of Egypt has granted us exclusive right to excavate and investigate ancient ruins in the Valley of the Kings. The potential discoveries there will be, provide an enormous opportunity for us to increase our scientific renown in the world. I gotta do that for the prestige, man. I just got to. Uh, Border Plus, sign the Geneva Convention. That's even more infamy, and I don't like that. If I have to take that, I will. So we'll see what happens. Actually, let's see, politics. Because this one does, it's not bad actually for us. But, change of border policy, secularized society, explore the Congo. I guess we can show, renovate academia, and enslave the serfs. I don't mind maybe changing our ideology, or national value, I should say. Yeah, I guess we'll eat the cost for now, but past this, like, we gotta save scum for everything, pretty much. I might just save some time and just do stuff off screen to let time go on to lower our infamy. Yeah, that might be good to do. Or we could release puppets as well, but I don't wanna really do that. There we go. Moroccan al Orif. So we don't have a lot of money. We'll go up to that much and go up to that much. There we go. Give him like another month. Nah, screw it. We're just gonna go to war now. I don't care. I'm not gonna wait around for that. There you go. So we have rebels. That's not good. Persia, huh? That's not really a big problem, man. Come on, let's get him down, get him down, get him down. Uh, sure. What are you guys fighting? No one? You want access, though, huh? Less war exhaustion, more plurality is pretty good. Hey, we're actually making more money, too. Uh, directive on trade in the provinces. As part of a government citizenship policy, soldiers of the home army may have been ordered only buy goods from the full of the traders. This certainly aggravate already existing tensions in Kotono, as local foreign traders feel the effects of the government's discrimination. Nah. That sucks so much. That we can't get what we really need. Or to just colonize. Now this, I will do the naval base to so get more colonial points too, so. But just because we can't get it now doesn't mean we can't get it later. I love Morocco. After this, we should be able to peace out with them. Hey, there we go. Yeah, nice. Because I want to get that infamy done for the, at the end of the month. Going over this. That's good. That's good. Good. You guys can stay up there. You guys stay at Casablanca. Tangier? Great. Screw it. We'll build a port here, too. Nice. Wow. Algeria might just break away. Which would not be a bad thing for us. The very least, I would at least I like to get up to here, which isn't very worth it at all, but whatever. Why? The Blight of 1881. Phytophotera infestans. The dreaded potato blight has struck one of our farming provinces. Small, starving smallholders, and in some places driving whole families from their homes, the potato blight has caused a localized famine that threatens no to spread. Let them eat cake? Immigration push? Where is this? Velengara. Well, let's see. Because it might be good to push them out, actually. Velengara. Oh! Oh, got that one done. Nice! Velengara, huh? Is it a core of us? No, it's not. Let them eat cake, push them out so they can go to other places. And a sixth national focus. Capitalist, it is. The Sahara. Oh, we can do the Saharan frontier now, too. The nomads of the Saharan de Desert have always been too trollable, with not enough benefits to keep under control. With great powers quickly settling out to carve out Africa, establishing proper borders and proper control of an even a remote region has become a necessity. We can strike out a series of treaties to set up the Saharan frontier of our territories and eliminate any possibility of border conflicts in the Sahara. We get prestige. All pops lose some literacy. Whatever. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Why not? Change your border policy. Uh, what a border policy right now. <gasps> oh! Look at that. Border policy is completely open borders, so that's pretty good. 
Whoa, look at that! Now that's awesome. That is really awesome. But then we're gonna lose some ooh, points, maybe. No, look at that. That is so beautiful. We're almost connected. We're so almost so close to connecting over there. And we got some stuff over here too. Oh, that is so good. So good. But right now we gotta research some naval ship stuff. But I think this is a good place to end this episode because that is really, really good. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will try to colonize more, get more score, and try to lower our infamy a little bit more. Thanks for watching though, and have a great rest of your day.